वेलकम टू आइडियो बुक गैलरी आइडियो बुक गैलरी प्रेजेंट ज्योग्राफी एन सी ई आर टी फॉर क्लास सिक्स इन टाइटल द अर्थ ओवर हैबिटेड सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस इज द लेसन वन द अर्थ इन द सोलर सिस्टम How wonderful it is to watch the sky after sunset. One would first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky. Soon, you would see the number increasing. You cannot count them anymore. The whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects. Some are bright, others dim. It seems as if the sky is studded with diamonds they all appear to be twinkling but if you look at them carefully you will notice that some of them do not twinkle as others do they simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines along with these bright objects You may also see the moon on most of the days. It may however appear at different times in different shapes and at different positions. You can see the full moon only once in about a month's time. It is full moon night or purnima. A fortnight later, you cannot see it at all. It is a new moon night or amavasya. On this day you can watch the night sky best provided it is a clear night Do you wonder why can't we see the moon and all those bright tiny objects during daytime It is because the very bright light of the sun does not allow us to see all these bright objects of the night sky The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made up of gases. They have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts. These celestial bodies are called stars. The sun is a star. Countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun but we do not feel their heat or light and they look so tiny because they are very very far from us Let's do You'll need one torch one sheet of plain paper pencil and a needle Step Step 1 Place the torch in the center of the paper with its glass front touching the paper. Step 2 Now draw a circle around the torch. Step 3 Perforate the paper with the needle within the circled area. Step 4 Now place the perforated circle part of the paper on the glass front and wrap the paper around the torch with a rubber band step 5 take care that the switch of the torch is not covered step 6 in a dark room stand at some distance facing a plain wall switch off all other lights now flash the torch light on the wall You will see numerous dots of light on the wall like stars shine in the night. Step 7 Switch on all the lights in the room. All dots of the light will be almost invisible. Step 8 You may now compare the situation with what happens to the bright objects of the night sky after the sun rises in the morning page number 2 you must have noticed that all objects look smaller when seen from a distance 
how small an aeroplane looks when it is flying at a great height. While watching the night sky, you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellations. Ursa Major or Big Bear is one such constellation. One of the most easily recognizable constellation is this Sapta Rishi. Sapta meaning seven, Rishi meaning sages. It is a group of seven stars as shown in figure 1.1 that forms a part of Ursa Major constellation. Ask someone elder in your family or neighborhood to show you more stars, planets and constellations in the sky. Figure 1.1 shows Saptarishi and the North Star. The girl in the figure is seen facing the north side. She sees the pointer stars and the North Star. On her right is East Side and on her left is West Side. In ancient times, people used to determine directions during the night with the help of stars. The North Star indicates the North Direction. It is also called the Pole Star. It always remains in the same position in the sky. We can locate the position of the pole star with the help of the Saptarishi. Look at figure 1.1. You will notice that if an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointer stars and extended further, it will point to the pole star. Some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. They are lit by the light of the stars. Such bodies are called planets. The word planet comes from the Greek word planetai, which means wanderers. The earth on which we live is a planet. It gets all its heat and light from the sun, which is our nearest star. If we look at the earth from a great distance, say the moon, it will appear to be shining just as the moon. The moon that we see in the sky is a satellite. It is a companion of our earth and moves round it. Like our earth, there are seven other planets that get heat and light from the sun. Some of them have their moons too. Interesting fact. Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus have rings around them. These are belts of small debris. These rings may be seen from the Earth with the help of powerful telescopes. The Solar System The Sun, eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids continued on page number four form the solar system we often call it a solar family with the sun as its head page number three We can see the diagram, the Earth in the solar system. Figure 1.2 shows Our solar system is one of over 500 known solar systems in the entire Milky Way galaxy. The solar system came into being about 4.5 billion years ago when a cloud of interstellar gas and dust collapsed, resulting in a solar nebula a swirling disk of material that collided to form the solar system. The solar system is located in the Milky Way's Orion star cluster. Only 15% of stars in the galaxy host planetary systems, and one of those stars is our own Sun. 
Revolving around the sun are eight planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and Jovian. Terrestrial planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are primarily made of rocky material. Their surfaces are solid, they don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. The smallest and closest to the Sun is Mercury, which has the shortest orbit in the solar system at about three Earth months. Venus is the hottest planet, with temperatures of up to 867 degrees Fahrenheit due to an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and extensive lava flows. Next to this world of fire is a world of water, Earth. The water systems on this planet help create the only known environment in the universe capable of sustaining life. The last of the terrestrial planets, Mars, might have also supported life about 3.7 billion years ago when the planet had a watery surface and moist atmosphere. Beyond the four terrestrial planets of the inner solar system lie the Jovian planets of the outer solar system. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, and the ice giants also contain rock, ice, and a liquid mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four Jovian planets have multiple moons, sport ring systems, have no solid surface, and are immense. The largest Jovian is also the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Nearby is Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet. Its signature rings are wide enough to fit between Earth and the Moon, but are barely a kilometer thick. Past Saturn are the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The slightly bigger of these ice giants, Uranus, is famous for rotating on its side. Next to Uranus is Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system and also one of the coldest. Orbiting the terrestrial planets is the asteroid belt, a flat disk of rocky objects full of remnants from the solar system's formation, from microscopic dust particles to the largest known object, the dwarf planet, Ceres. Another disk of space debris lies much further out and orbits the Jovian planets, the icy Kuiper Belt. Apart from asteroids, the Kuiper Belt is also home to dwarf planets such as Pluto and is the birthplace of many comets. Beyond the Kuiper Belt is the Oort Cloud, a vast spherical collection of icy debris. It is considered the edge of the solar system since that is where the gravitational and physical influences of the Sun end. Our solar system's particular configuration of planets and other celestial objects all revolving around a life-giving star make it a special place to call home. Page number four. The Sun. The Sun is in the center of the solar system. It is huge and made up of extremely hot gases. It provides the pulling force that binds the solar system. The Sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. But that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star, it is far away from us. The Sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Planets There are eight planets in our solar system. In order of their distance from the Sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. An easy way to memorize the name of the planets in order of their distance from the Sun is My very efficient mother just served us nuts. All the eight planets of the solar system move around the Sun in fixed paths. These paths are elongated. They are called orbits. Mercury is nearest to the Sun. It takes only about 88 days 
to complete one round along its orbit. Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the Earth. Till recently, August 2006, Pluto was also considered a planet. However, in a meeting of the International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto, like other celestial objects, Ceres 2003-UB313, discovered in recent past, may be called dwarf planets. The Earth The Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. In size, it is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened at the poles. That is why its shape is described as a geoid. Geoid means an Earth-like shape. Do you know, Sol in Roman mythology is the Sun God. Solar means related to the Sun. The family of the Sun is therefore called the Solar System. Write down as many words using the word solar on your own as you can. Word origin Many words used in a language may have been taken from some other language. Geography, for example, is an English word. It has its origin in Greek, which relates to the description of the earth. It is made of two Greek words. Ge means earth and graphia means writing. Find out more about the earth. The diagram shows J, J plus logi or logia. Study of the earth. J plus metri or metria means measurement of the earth. J plus oid is resembling the shape or form of the earth. Do you know humans have always been fascinated gazing at the night sky? Those who study the celestial bodies and their movements are called astronomers. Aryabhat was a famous astronomer of ancient India. He said that the moon and the planets shine due to reflected sunlight. Today, astronomers all over the world are busy exploring the universe. Page number 5 Conditions favorable to support life are probably found only on the earth. The earth is neither too hot nor too cold. It has water and air, which are very essential for our survival. The air has life-supporting gases like oxygen. Because of these reasons, the earth is a unique planet in the solar system. From the outer space, the Earth appears blue because its two-thirds surface is covered by water. It is therefore called a blue planet. The Moon Our Earth has only one satellite, that is, the Moon. Its diameter is only one quarter that of the Earth. It appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies. It is about 3,84,400 kilometers away from us. Now you can compare the distance of the Earth from the Sun and that from the Moon. Figure 1.3 shows the Moon as seen from the space. The Moon moves around the Earth in about 27 days. 
it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin. As a result, only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth. The moon does not have conditions favorable for life. It has mountains, plains and depressions on its surface. These cast shadows on the moon's surface. Look at the full moon and observe these shadows. Figure 1.4 shows the functioning of a human-made satellite. The first picture shows a rocket launch. The second picture shows how a rocket falls back to the earth. And the third picture shows how a satellite enters orbit. Do you know, light travels at the speed of about 3 lakh km per second. Yet, even with this speed, the light of the sun takes about 8 minutes to reach the earth. Interesting fact, Neil Armstrong was the first man to step on the surface of the moon on 20th July 1969. Find out whether any Indian has landed on the moon? A satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun. A human-made satellite is an artificial body. It is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication. It is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the Earth. Some of the Indian satellites in space are INSAT, IRS, EDUSAT, etc. What do animals and plants require in order to grow and survive? Page number 6 Asteroids Figure 1.5 shows an asteroid. Apart from the stars, planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun. These bodies are called asteroids. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, as shown in figure 1.2. Scientists are of the view that asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back. Meteoroids the small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids. Sometimes, these meteoroids come near the earth and tend to drop upon it. During this process, due to friction with the air, they get heated up and burn. It causes a flash of light. Sometimes, a meteor, without being completely burned, falls on the earth and creates a hollow. Do you see a whitish broad band like a white glowing path across the sky on a clear starry night? It is a cluster of millions of stars. This band is the Milky Way galaxy as shown in figure 1.6. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy. In ancient India, it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky. Thus, it was named Akash Ganga. A galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases. There are millions of such galaxies that make the universe. It is difficult to imagine how big the universe is. Scientists are still trying to find out more and more about it. We are not certain about its size but we know that all of us, you and I, belong to this universe. Figure 1.6 depicts Milky Way. Page number 7 Can you relate yourself with the universe now? You are on the earth 
and the earth is a part of the solar system our solar system is a part of the milky way galaxy which is part of the universe think about the universe and the fact that it contains millions of such galaxies how do you fit in the picture earth solar system milky way galaxy the universe exercises 1 answer the following questions briefly a how does a planet differ from a star b what is meant by the solar system c name all the planets according to their distance from the sun d why is the earth called a unique planet e why do we see only one side of the moon always f what is the universe 2 tick the correct answer a the planet known as the earth's twin is 1 jupiter 2 saturn 3 venus b which is the third nearest planet to the sun 1 venus 2 earth 3 mercury c all the planets move around the sun in a 1 circular path 2 rectangular path 3 elongated path d the pole star indicates the direction to the 1 south 2 north 3 east page number 8 e asteroids are found between the orbits of 1 saturn and jupiter 2 Mars and Jupiter 3 the earth and Mars 3 fill in the blanks a a group of dash forming various patterns is called a dash b a huge system of stars is called dash C dash is the closest celestial body to our earth D dash is the third nearest planet to the sun E planets do not have their own dash and dash things to do 1 Prepare a chart of the solar system. 2. During a vacation, visit a planetarium and describe your experience in the class. 3. Organize a quiz contest on the earth and the solar system. For fun. 1. The sun is commonly known as Surya or Suraj in Hindi. Find out its name in different languages of our country. Take help of your friends, teachers and neighbors. 2. You might have heard that people make human chains and run for world peace etc. You can also make a human solar system and run for fun. Step 1. All children of your class can play this game. Assemble in a big hall. or on a playground step 2 now draw eight circles on the ground as shown in the figure drawn on the opposite page use a 5 meter long row mark at every half a meter with a chalk or ink place a small nail to mark the center now hold one end of the rope at the central position Ask your friend to hold a chalk at the half meter mark and move around the nail holding rope and chalk together on the ground. 
You have drawn one circle just as you do on paper using a compass and a pencil. Draw other circles in the same manner. Step 3. Prepare 10 placards. Name them as Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Step 4. Select 10 children in the following order and give each one of them a placard. Order of Placard Distribution The Sun, tallest, the Moon, smallest, Mercury, Mars, Venus and Earth, almost equal heights, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn and Jupiter, taller than the earlier four planets but smaller than the Sun. Now, ask the children holding placards to take their places with the Sun in the center in their orbits. Ask the child holding the Moon placard to keep the hand of the child holding the Earth placard always. Now your solar system is almost ready to go into action. Now, make everybody move slowly in the anti-clockwise direction. Your class has turned into a small human replica of the solar system. While moving your orbit, you can also turn around. For everybody, the spin should be anti-clockwise except for Venus and Uranus who will make the spin in the clockwise direction.